might already have heard someone mention an electric charge like if it were an object or a particle of some kind. This is a common misuse of language. A charge is not a definite body or object. It is the property of an object. Let's dive into this idea. Take this pen. What can you tell about it? It's blue. So I can say about the pen that its color is blue. That's for the pen. What else? Mm, it looks like it's made of plastic. So the material of the pen. Plastic. What else? Mm. Oh, it's heavy. No, it's not heavy. It's very light. So, but it still has a mass. 50 grams, more or less. What are these two columns? The one on the left is a property. And on the right, it's the value of this property, or the attribute. Let's call it value. Well, these are properties. I could also write charge here. Charge is a property of the pen. Let's assume that its value is for now zero. Now let's consider an electron. An electron is an elementary particle which is part of an atom. Electron. It's also an object, so it also has properties and values associated with it. For example, its mass is 9.1 by 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. It also spins on itself. So it has a spin, which we can say it's say one half. It's just a value associated with a property. It also has a charge. And the charge for an electron is minus 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulomb. Coulomb is the unit of charge. Let's take the pen there and rub it onto a pullover. What happens here is that some electrons of the pullover are transferred to the pen. This is called the triboelectric effect. So now let's suppose that one billion electrons went from the pullover to the pen. That means that the charge of the pen has increased by that of one billion electrons. One billion is 10 to the 9. That I multiply by the charge of one electron, that is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 10 coulomb. Now the pen will have a property charge of minus 1.6, 10 minus 10 coulomb.